how to make tofu. So first we soak the soya beans overnight and give them a good clean in fresh water. Um, I use a cold press to press my soya beans. And here you see we have the soy milk coming up one side and the um, byproduct uh, of the soy beans getting pressed out here. Now I save these for the second run, which I'll do tomorrow, but today we're making a firm tofu. So this is a really creamy soy milk. I then filter it again through a nut milk bag. This just gets any extra sediment out. I think out of this run I only had a tablespoon of uh, fibre in my soy milk. And here I am doing another batch. So we got around 400 mils of soy milk from the first uh, lot going through. So here we have the second. So we'll get around 800 mils of soy milk from here. I don't add a lot of water through the cold press to make the soya milk so it comes out really thick. Uh, I wouldn't do this if I was just making soy milk to drink uh, but it's perfect for making the firm tofu. As I said before, the I think you call it okura, okura. Anyway, the byproduct from the soy bean, uh, we can actually get a lot of more soy milk out of uh, this product that's coming through here, and we'll get about 800 grams of soya fiber here, which I'll use tomorrow using the NutriBullet. Uh, I was it through there and then strain it again through the nut milk bag to make my silken tofu uh, tomorrow. I absolutely love this cold press. Before I used to uh, make tofu, it was such a messy process. This keeps it really clean and simple. made this one while well, I was also making dinner so it's really simple quick easy method uh, you'll hear the music in the background uh, it's my daughter uh, the singer Hazel Daisy is singing uh, in the lockdown hymn book Here I am pouring the second lot of soy milk through the nut milk bag.
Isn't she got such a beautiful voice? Okay, then we're going to transfer the soy milk into a pot and we're going to heat it for around 20 minutes. We're just going to get it to a boil. Uh, a lot of people here would take the foam off the top, uh, but I'm all about keeping things nice and simple. So we'll just give it a good stir uh, to stop it from sticking to the bottom of the pot. And we'll do this for about 20 minutes to cook the soy milk. The next step is to add in some white vinegar. I use about mm, quarter of a cup, quarter to half a cup. Oh yep, look here, half a cup. And we just pour that in about 800 mils of soy milk and we'll give it a good stir here you'll see that it's sort of looking a little bit like ricotta cheese in there it's separating the water from the curd i guess you would call it i'm just going to let this cool to a tepid heat and we're going to transfer I've got a little bit of muslin cloth that I'm putting into my tofu press you don't have to buy a tofu press you can use any sort of colander that's going to allow the, the water to escape I've just placed mine over a bowl to collect the water. Just see the big knife on the corner there. I was also cutting up some bok choy for dinner. At this point my battery died on my camera. And uh, we borrowed my daughter's phone to finish this off. So we've just placed it in there and we're just going to press down to just get out any remaining water. Done. And yum! Here's our tofu. Cooking it with some bok choy and some messy goring paste and we're going to serve that over rice 